Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 32 of May, June 2014 for A-level math. Now, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. So here we have question number one. So here we have to find the set of values for x satisfying this equation. Now, as you can see, we have x on both sides and modulus on both sides. So what do you do? We can square both sides to start. You will have expand this one. That will be x plus 2a square first. The square that will be 9, x minus a square. Now we can expand, that will become x square plus the value of 4ax plus 4a square. More than 9 times expand, you have x square minus 2ax plus a square. Expand the brackets, you will have 9x square minus 18ax plus 9a square. Now finally, we have to send everything to one side. Uh, let's send this over here. You will have what? 9 minus 1 should be 8. And minus 18 minus 4 should be minus 22. Plus 9 minus uh, 4 should be plus 5 a square. Now obviously we can rewrite this as this on this side less than 0. Now, because here we don't, we don't have equal sign as you can see, so there's no need for that. Uh, let's proceed. We have to find the critical values of this equation. So take the same thing. And then we just have to equate that to zero. Now you can solve this in two ways. One is by factorization and one is by using your formula if you want to. So I can use by, I can well use factorization in my case, but you can use your formula if you want to. Now before x times 2x. Now 5a squared simply, uh, 5 times 1, 5a times 1a, sorry. Now if you do observe, we need to have minus 22, so that will be minus 20, so my 4x times minus 5a will be minus 20a, and then minus 2a. So x will be the value of a over 4, x will be the value of 5a over 2. So these are the critical values, we will have to use those to find the set of values for x for which our equation is defined. Zero. This is the first value. This is the other value. Now, as you can see, this one is a positive value. It will be a minimum curve. Fair enough, right? Now, what's next? Has to be less than zero. So below, as you can see, below will be only between those two. So as you can see, x will have to be between the values of a over 4 and then 5a over 2. And this is your answer for question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. So here we have to solve the equation. Solving means finding the values of x, correct to your 3SF. So one by one, you will have ln. Here we have 5 minus exponential minus 2x. That will be the value of half over here. Now what is ln? We have to know ln is log to the base of e. For example, let's call this one x is equal to a. To find the inside value, we have to send the base over here. So x will be exponential a. So similarly, to find the inside value, send the base over here. You will have 5 minus exponential equal to exponential half. Now the goal is the same. We have to make x become the subject. So first send this over here and this over here. You will have 5 minus exponential power half is equal to exponential this one right here. Uh, now what's next? Now the power is on top. We have to bring this down. We have to apply ln or log. In this case, we will apply ln because we have exponential on both sides. You have this over here is equal to ln exponential minus 2x. Now obviously by the laws of logarithms, we can bring this down. You will have minus 2x ln of e is equal to ln of the value over here. Now we should know, ln of e is just 1, so you will just cancel out, it is just 1, right? We can check. Ln of e is 1. Fair enough, right? Now what's next? So we have x is this, so minus 2x. So x will be uh, divided by minus 2. Now will be this, your value of x. Okay. Now we have to evaluate this, so 5. So here we have exponential power half. 5 minus answer, okay, then have ln of the answer, divided by minus 2. 
that should be 0 point minus 0 point 605 correct you 3SF this is my answer for question number two we have to know how to use the laws of logs in in this question now let's move on to question number three so here we have to solve the equation um, well from the first uh, observation we can realize here we have x but here we have x plus 30 so in a way we understand we have to expand this whole thing now how do you expand this by using the formula obviously that will be cos of x cos of 30 that will become minus sine of x and sine of 30 now we should know the exact values here that is what this is root 3 over 2 cos of x minus half sine of x this is half right now bring everything back to your question you will have on one side you will have root 3 over 2 cos of x minus half sine of x is equal to 2 cos of x now when you have cos and sine in the same line of an equation they are not together they are like they have this minus this and equal to this we can divide by cos of x everywhere you will have root 3 over 2 minus half sine by cos will be 10 of x and that will be the value of 2 as you can see we're trying to make tan become subjects so send this over here you will have half 10 of x is equal to root 3 over 2 minus 2 right so this over here this over here you have this now finally uh, 10 of x is what is simply the value of 2 times this whole thing great now let's find the value of that that should be root apologize root of 3 divided by 2 minus 2 times 2 that would be minus 2.2679 that is minus 2.2679 so clearly tan is a negative value, so we have to be proceed accordingly. Now when tan is negative, ASTC it will be in this quadrant, but also in this quadrant. Now whenever it's negative, we don't find x directly, we use a prop angle. For example, I will call this one theta. So this value here will be 180 minus theta, and this will be 360 minus theta. Now first we have to find the value of theta. What is theta? Theta will be simply tan inverse of the positive value of this one let's see what do we get so here we have answer times minus one to make it positive tan inverse of answer so here we have to use degrees according to your question that should be 66.2 degrees for theta but again we don't care about theta we want to find x x will be found according to your quadrant will be 180 minus theta so 180 minus 66.2 that should be 113.8 and then 360 minus 66.2 that'll be 293.8 here you go this is your two values for x as we need now finally we have to check x is between this one and this one now Whenever you have negative values for x, as you can see in this domain, we try to check. Let's check. We have to minus 360 to both of these values and see, well, if we have anything else in this domain. Again, I'm just, I'm just testing. I'm not saying that this is the way to go, but we have to test because we never know if we have anything in that domain. 113.8 minus 66, 360, sorry. That will be. 246 minus 246.2 now we have 293.8 minus 360 that will be minus 66.2 now the reason why it's okay to do that we understand that in angles minus sign is only direction so when I tell you minus 66.2 it is simply instead of instead of going this direction I'm going this direction that's what it means this is your angle of minus 66.2 but in the downward direction but again that's beside the point so let's see what happens now so we have these values it's okay to have those now let's check are they between those so you realize well this is okay this is too much this is too much and this is okay so in the end we will have two values of x that applies which is minus 66.2 
and 113.8 for your values of x. And this is your question number three. The description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.